Hey everybody, just a disclaimer, if you are going to be using any household items or weights today, you can use those when you're doing the actual combination movements. Just remember obviously you're going to be holding stuff in your hands. Focus on the technique, less about the power, and please make sure that you don't go too heavy on this, okay? It's all about technique. If you want to have that extra weight, it's just going to be there for that little bit extra for you, okay? Don't try and go heavy, try and avoid injuries, okay? Best to do it without, but if you want to add that little bit extra, then please, by all means. But remember, technique is everything, okay? Be safe. So James here from the uh, gym team. Today I'm going to take you through a little kind of circuit that you can do which incorporates some boxing and also incorporates some kind of general body weight exercises as well. So first things first, what we want to do is make sure that before you do this workout, you are warmed up, you've done some dynamic stretches, that might mean some reaches over here, some reaches over here, some nice big shoulder rolls and some squat and swings. Just basically getting your heart rate up and getting your body ready to exercise. Now obviously again, with all of the videos you've been watching so far, we're not with you, so we can't be there to correct technique. It is most important to make sure that you focus on technique over intensity today, okay? So you can if you want to. If you're lucky enough to have two weights, then please by all means grab two weights. If not, you can grab two items from the household as well. Something which gives you a little bit extra resistance. So, first things first, we're going to go through some boxing first. So make sure you've got a fist. Wrap the thumbs around the outside, and we're going to focus on what we call the jab cross. So as you rotate, straighten the arms out fully, elbow comes up, top two knuckles will rotate. That's your first combo. Next combo is a hook. Arms back up nice and high. You're going to bring the elbow up and around and create a twisting action as you go. Generate the power from your core and the whole body moving around. Elbow is slightly higher than wrist as you strike. Aiming for if you had a bag in front of you, each side of the bag, or if you want to be a little bit more crazy, you can always aim for what would be the cheekbones of an opponent, okay? Last one is the uppercuts. Now again, similar boxing stance again. Elbow drops under and comes up in front. You create a figure of eight using that core to help you dip under and the rotation of the shoulders. So you're aiming just underneath the chin line, okay? So what we're going to do, three circuits. Circuit number one, each circuit will be the same principle of training, but slightly different, okay? So we're going to aim for 20 punches, jab cross down the middle, so that's one, two, three, four. Twenty, followed by ten jacks. Option is to step out. You then go from zero to 40 jab cross, followed by 10 jacks, zero to 60, 10 jacks, zero to 80, 10 jacks, and zero to 100, 10 jacks. Have a little rest, and then circuit number two, 20 hooks, Followed by, challenge if you're up for it, is the squat burpee. Stand up, so that's squat down, hands on the ground, shoot the legs back to plank, brace the core, jump the legs up wide, and stand up. Option is to squat, step one leg, step the other, step back, and stand up. Now that's 10. You then go 0 to 40, 10 burpees, or modified, 0 to 60, modified, or normal, zero to 80 with that cardio there, zero to 100, and again. The final round, you've got 20 uppercuts. Focusing on the rotation of the core, shoulders moving. Once you've got your 20, then what you're gonna do, nice and simple, movement's gonna be what we call an inchworm. So squatting down, walking the hands forward until you're stretched out nice and long, if you want to increase the workout, you can have one tricep press up, that's knees or toes, walking back up and standing up. Option to modify, bend the hips, walk the hands forward, walk the hands back. Absolutely fine, okay? Similar principle, 10 repetitions. 
repetitions of that. Then you go back, you do 0 to 40, inchworm, 0 to 60, inchworm, 0 to 80, inchworm, 0 to 100. Finish on those inchworms. At the end of the workout, guys, let us know how you got on. Let us know if you had to do the modifications, if you found it challenging, what you enjoyed about it. It's a workout that I do in my box fit at the end of our sessions to just get that little bit extra out of the workout, okay? Please be safe, please be healthy, and we will see you all very soon back at Riverside.